Monkeys have captivated humans for ages as our most closely related primate cousins. But the long intertwined story of monkeys and mankind spans millennia of contact, conflict and consequences we are still reconciling today. The earliest monkey-like primates emerged around 55 million years ago when forests blanketed the supercontinent of Gondwana. As flowering trees arose, these agile ancestors thrived on fruit. When marsupials declined, niche space opened for primates to evolve greater intelligence. True monkeys appeared 25 million years ago in Africa still resembling diminutive squirrels. Larger bodies and complex social structures evolved as savannas expanded 6 million years ago. Their stereoscopic vision, grasping hands, quick reflexes, and acrobatic tails adapted them exquisitely to looping canopy life. But climate shifts 4 million years ago reduced African rainforests, splitting monkeys into two main groups Old World and New World monkeys, located in Africa slash Asia and the Americas respectively. Old World monkeys like baboons lived more terrestrially while New World species remained more arboreal. In South America, capuchin and spider monkeys diverged to fill every canopy niche. Prehensile tails became virtual fifth limbs allowing upside-down feeding and suspension. But in Africa, upheavals forced monkeys down from diminishing trees, driving new ways of living. The famous savanna baboons emerged alongside early hominids adapting to more open ground life. Their larger builds aided walking between sparse trees. Thicker fur insulated against cold nights. Larger social groups and sentry systems protected against predators. Meat-eating supplemented vegetation. But the most pivotal event was monkeys evolving larger complex brains to navigate dynamic ground-based habitats interacting with other intelligent primates early humans. The mental capabilities of monkeys and humans charted interconnected courses over millions of years. By 10,000 years ago when agriculture arose, monkeys were deeply rooted in human consciousness as our closest animal mirrors. Egyptian hieroglyphs depicted monkey gods. Chinese and Japanese cultures integrated monkey legends. The Hindu epic Ramayana featured monkey deity Hanuman. Monkeys featured prominently in early storytelling worldwide. But woodland loss and hunting progressively confined monkeys to pockets of wilderness humans didn't dominate yet. Monkey ranges dwindled over centuries as people chopped down ancient forests and killed primates viewed as mischievous pests. Larger species like apes were wiped out in many regions. By 600 AD, monkeys were hemmed into tropical jungles and difficult to access areas. Their domain fractured into isolated fragments just as monkeys were becoming ingrained in human culture as exotic curiosities, specimens, and performing animals. Captured monkeys spread worldwide via trade networks. Before we continue, like this video and subscribe to the channel so you are the first to know when a new video is out. Now, let's talk about how Europeans first glimpsed monkeys when Spanish and Portuguese explorers returned from Africa and India with them aboard ships, captivated by their uncanny human-like behavior. Monkeys had become global commodities flooding into ports, the precursors of larger waves of exploitation to come. As European colonialism expanded into wild frontiers, an insatiable market for exotic species drove mass live capture of rare mammals including monkeys to stock menageries, zoos, and research facilities across Europe, North America, and Japan. Larger species like great apes were ravaged. Monkey populations plunged in newly colonized lands. By World War II, rising indignation over deplorable cruelty and human-like intelligence led to gradual prohibitions on invasive research and inhumane training methods like beatings to perform tricks. 
but consumer demand persisted for monkeys as pets and photographers' models into the 1970s, funneling poaching that still threatens endangered species today. Wild populations remain imperiled by trafficking for bush meat and deforestation, though rigid protections have helped stabilize some species like western gorillas. But complex moral quandaries around close confinement and invasive brain research on intelligent monkeys continue igniting ethical debates on balancing progress and compassion. Chimpanzees, orangutans, and gorillas can now retire to sanctuaries rather than spend lives in tiny lab cages. Accredited zoos emphasize naturalistic habitats and stimulation. Non-human primate rights groups advocate abolishing harmful commercial trade altogether. More progress is needed to align human actions with greater wisdom. Monkeys equally suffer when treated as delicacies, ritual talismans, perform props or backyard pets. Viral photos of diapered capuchins riding bikes mask the anguish of mothers killed for their infants. Primates are neither playthings nor disposable resources. They are our cousins deserving dignity. Looking ahead, monkeys require extensive undisturbed habitats and emphasis on local people benefiting from monkeys more alive than dead. If we can create a future where monkeys enhance human lives yet live freely as their altruistic wild nature intended, we may still continue on a path neither species will ultimately regret. As we wrap up this wild journey, we want to hear from you. Drop a comment below sharing the first time you saw a monkey or any fascinating wildlife moment. If you enjoyed this adventure, give us a thumbs up and make sure to hit that subscribe button to stay tuned for more incredible content here on Earth Plus. Click on the next video to keep exploring the wonders of life on Earth or dive into our playlist for a continuous stream of excitement. Thanks for joining us on this expedition and until next time, have a good day.